Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, Logistic Tracking System. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. The version for the Python I'm using is the Python version 3, 3.7, and the Django version is 2. And uh, for database, I'm using MySQL, and the version of the MySQL is 5.6. For connecting MySQL with Python and Django, I'm using the MySQL Python connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website even you can install it using the pip command right you can also uh, install the py mysql but you need to change the driver inside the settings.py in case if you use the py mysql right so these are the server uh, technologies and the server side scripting informations for front end development i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery also i have used like form validations and the calendar integrations i have used the jquery plugins right so let's start uh, to discuss about the project functionalities, right? So the project title is a logistic tracking system and it's a mini project developed in uh, Python, Django and MySQL. It has admin login where admin can perform all of the operations, but the customer can search only the tracking site. Right? So let me go through one by one, right? So this is the homepage of the project. You can say this is a simple homepage. This is about project, right? So it's about the project this is a search tracking if you have any tracking details tracking number then you can search word goods yeah, search word tracking here right for the searching the tracking you need to enter the tracking number here so there is a tracking details available for tracking id one and if you click on the search tracking then you will get all of the details of the tracking right you can see there are seven tracking details and it's in the descending order means 10th 11th 10th april 11th 12th 12, 13 14 14th right so this is the tracking page, right? No need of login inside the system to search any of the tracking. This is a contact us form where uh, you can submit the contact, but it's a static form. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I'm not uh, sending any type of email and SMS from this page. This is a login page from where admin can log in. As I told you earlier, this is an admin based system means admin can log in only, right? There is no registration for the customer. So once you click on the sign in, you will get the admin dashboard and these operations admin can perform, right? Admin can add the goods, admin can see the goods details, admin can see the tracking details, admin can add the tracking, change password and log out. Okay, let me go through all of the options one by one. So home page already explained you, dashboard already explained you. And the goods management, it's add goods from where you need to add the goods, right? Sender name, sender contact, email address, receiver name and the cost and full descriptions, right? This all uh, information you need to enter, right? And after that, goods details, all of the goods which you have entered will be displayed here, right? You can see there is the tracking details here, right? If you save the uh, goods, then you will get the tracking ID here, right? You can see tracking ID here, right? From here, you can edit uh, details. So you can see this is the details, right? If you uh, click on the add tracking for added, add the tracking uh, of, the, of that goods, right? So just add, and after that, here you need to enter the date and the descriptions, right? Then save. Once you click on the save, then the tracking will be details, tracking details will be saved into the database, right? Even you can edit it also, right? So you can edit it, right? So add goods, already explained you. So you, uh, sorry. Okay, so this is the add goods, and this is the good details, right? This is a tracking details. All of the tracking details which you have saved, saved inside the database will be saved here, will be available here, right? And this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password. For that, you need to enter your old password. And after that, new and confirm password, log out. So once you log out from the system, the above header menu will not be displayed and you will not be able to access any of the internal and admin pages. Right? Let me show you log out. So you can see this is a session driven menu and the administration options are not uh, available here, right? But if you log inside the system, the admin option is available here, right? So log out, it's not available there, right? So it's a session driven menu. So these all functionalities I have developed inside this project, uh, logistic tracking system. And uh, as I told you earlier, this is a Python, Django and MySQL project. If you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.